Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. Yesterday we talked about time base a little bit, and today I want to show you other types of time base we left out of yesterday's video. So what I got right here is a little bit of a drum loop, and the tempo is 110, two measures long. My default BPM is also 110. All right, totally in tempo, all good. I can even drag it out. So when I when I have a drum loop, I will always set its item time base to position, length, and rate. Because the only thing that's important about this loop is that it's two measures long and it will remain two measures long. So if I set my tempo to 130, you can see that the rate of this file has changed, but it's still two measures long because the time base is controlling its position, length, and time. So it still starts from measure one, still ends at measure 19, and each loop of it is two measures long. And I can change this tempo. I can make it really high if I want. So the rate is now 1.8 times but it still starts at measure one ends at measure 19 it's always going to be that way and this is similar to software like uh, Ableton where you have loop based production so if you work with loops a lot set it to beats position length and rate cool so all right beat position and length that was that so when do we use beats position only so let's go back to this loop and this is just a symbol sample that I'm hoping to use in my project and it sounds like this So it has a tempo baked into it, but it's a single hit. So tempo doesn't really mean much. So if I set the position of this to beats position length and rate, what happens when I change the tempo, the rate of this changes. So either you are preserving the pitch and deprecating the audio by stretching and warping it, or if you're not preserving the pitch, well, now the pitch of my symbol is going to be weird. It's going to be a little higher. And again, that's not natural. And whether you want things to be natural or not, that's a whole other topic, but I want the sample to be played as it was recorded. That's its normal pitch. So by putting it to position only, let's see what happens. Now all these three are set to position only and the top beat is set to position length and rate. When I turn up the tempo, obviously the time between these two measures changes because each measure is shorter, but this is still at the beginning of measure seven. This is the beginning of measure 11. This is the same. If I change the tempo to 200, now as you can see it, they start to cross over a little bit because again, we only preserved their position. We didn't care about their rate. So whatever, I can make these shorter a little bit uh, because their time base is to position only, as they change the tempo, they will remain exactly beat-wise at the position they were, but their rate won't be affected and their pitch won't be affected either. So the only downside of this is that, yes, yeah, sometimes these two will cross over into each other if our measures start getting really small because our tempo goes really high. But again, yeah, when you're using samples, you shouldn't set them to position, beat, length, rate. You should set them to position only. All the loops I set to position, beat, length, rate. I set all my samples to position only. So let's say my project starts at a tempo of 90 and let's say it goes to... 110 on measure 5 and let's say from measure 5 to measure 9 I want to gradually transition from 110 to 120 so let's see what happened there the ones that I set to position only they are all in the right place however this first one it just kind of fell out of sync so what we got to do in these cases is we got to set this to beat auto stretch of tempo changes and I hit apply and it gives us this warning uh, are the media items already mapped to project tempo changes if yes auto stretch time base cannot be applied due to gradual project tempo changes if no timing change to match tempo changes so we got to say no to this because as we say no it puts some stretch markers in my loop so that at the beginning the rate is a little less and then once we get to 110 it suddenly changes and it's getting faster and now it settles on the fastest one. Just so you can see, if I put this back to position, beat, length, and rate, and I drag this out, it falls out of tempo as soon as our tempo begins to change. But if I go to item properties, set it to auto stretch at tempo changes and I drag it out. It's time stretching the loop whenever we hit a tempo change. And that's about it. Sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained today because I almost lost literally everything with Reaper. So I don't know, weird things are happening. Back up your Reaper. I got a video showing you how, so don't, don't sleep on your backups because uh, even the thought of losing things literally gives me like the heebie-jeebies, man. And I'm a little scatterbrained today. Sorry about that. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.